Hello there, TikTok. Oh. I guess I didn't put up a name for the live stream. <clears throat> oh well. As you see in the description there, um, I am a tutor, a grammar tutor. I teach the technology known as correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar. The grammar technology brought to the public by Full Colon, David Eiffel, and Colin Miller in 1988. I also just completed my very first successful seminar. It was an online seminar. I began advertising it a month ahead of time. I also advertise it here on TikTok. Although I'm not sure anyone from anyone that came to me from TikTok was there. Had a little less than 20 people there. And it went about two hours and 40 minutes or so. It was a great seminar. I taught the participants how to create a correct sentence structure communication policy syntax grammar on the spot, spontaneously, impromptu how to do that. And I gave three or four different examples of how to do that. I also took some of their examples and did it on the spot spontaneously. And then we had a about an hour of question and answer where people just asked me whatever questions that they wanted to, to ask. And I answered. There's a piece of that. I think uh, I posted it here on TikTok and also on my YouTube channel. <clears throat> The seminar, the video of the seminar will be available to the public uh, if you want it. Uh, there will be a minimum donation gift required of $66.60. But I will advertise that here and also on my YouTube channel and I will show you how to get a hold of that if you want it. Of course, everybody who attended is going to get a copy of the video. No donation necessary because they earned it. If anybody out there has any grammar questions, go ahead and pop it in the chat. I just ask that you be respectful. Please, no name calling, no assumption, no presumption, and definitely don't tell other people what they should or shouldn't do. But if you have questions about this grammar, quantum grammar, correct sentence structure communication, parsing syntax grammar, I'll answer whatever you want to ask. To the best of my knowledge, of course. Um, it's pretty funny. This one dude named Jag Perkins said that I'm an opinionated paper terrorist. That was the funniest stuff, you know, some of the funniest stuff I've ever seen. And that's usually the attitude of attorneys or lawyers, liars, lawyers, sorry, about this stuff. They don't understand it. And uh, it scares them. Because think of the words, paper terrorism. They are terrified of paper. <laughs> That's really funny stuff. So go ahead. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments. If not, I'm going to come back here and talk about swipe right to view more comments. I don't understand. I don't know. You know, TikTok is strange to me. There's so much stuff on here that I don't get. I think a lot of people are very interested in the concept of a claim of the live life, but they don't really know what it is. That's unfortunate. I mean, from my position, that's unfortunate that people don't know what it is. A real easy way to give you an idea of what it is, is you have this thing called the legal system, the fiction system, which navigates using language and grammar based upon modification. You have things like 
adjectives and adverbs. Those are modifiers. Now juxtapose that uh, with uh, going into court or a foreign vessel in dry dock and you get on the witness stand and someone's asking you questions. They're trying to get to the facts. When you modify a fact, that is perjury. Modification, change is modification, modification is perjury. As Colin David Eiffelwin Cole Miller has said many, many times in the past. So when you color a fact, you're modifying it. It's no longer the fact it once was. It's been modified. That's the basis of this grammar where there is no modification in the grammar. So in the fiction system, you have what is known as a birth certificate. In the fact, you have what is known as a claim of the live life. In the fiction, you have what is known as a passport. In the fact, you have what is known as a sea pass sea treaty. And that's S-E-A hyphen treaty forward slash S-E-E hyphen treaty. Full stop. The second S-C is spelled S-E-E. And there are several reasons for that. But I try to uh, bring this home to people that the most important thing you can do is for yourself, as far as this stuff goes, is learn the grammar. Learn the grammar. Far too many people go into this, they get suckered into these scams of people selling live life claims that only have one witness on them. And the name in the copyright copy claim section is not their name, it's someone else's name. So the witnessing mechanics are not correct. The grammar mechanics certainly aren't correct. I know this. And the copyright copy claim mechanics uh, indicate that the live life claimant's claim belongs to someone else. So it's a scam. I'm not going to name names because I'm not a babysitter. I'm sure you all out there are big boys and girls, and can figure this stuff out for yourself if you choose to really put the work in, put the legwork in. You can figure it out. I think everyone should have the opportunity to get a claim of the live life. No purchase necessary. And the way to do that is to learn the grammar and create your own claim of the live life. But a lot of people, unfortunately, just go out, buy the claim of the live life, and then they start doing goofy things like, I don't know, sending it to the secretary of state or something like that. You know, filing it in with different places, thinking, I don't know what they're thinking <laughs> in doing that. I really don't. They do things like that and, um, and then sometimes with detrimental effects. And they wonder why they're not successful with it. And I just got into it with a YouTube commenter the other day talking about this. They didn't understand why their, I, don't, I think they called it direct treasury direct account got locked or something like that. Because they mailed their live life claim into the treasury direct or direct treasury, whatever the hell they talked about. And I'm thinking to myself, self. Why would that person do that? What is that? What's the point of doing that? The only time I ever bring correct sentence structure off of my tool belt, I always carry it around with me. I mean, it's, it's all here. The only time I bring it out is when it's necessary, when the situation is dire, or I can foresee the possibility of a bad situation happening. Then I'll bring it out to stop a trespass. But to just go out and just send it out, I mean, what's the point? Especially if you don't know what the hell you're talking about. If you don't have closure on the grammar, why are you using it? That's like someone carrying around a, a 38 Special or something like that, and they've never shot a gun in their life, and they're carrying it around, and they just think that they're magically going to know how to use it. And when a situation arises, or they just go around showing it to people. Look what I got. Look what I got. I mean, it's goofy. 
why, why you do that? You know, but people will do what they're going to do. I'm not here to tell people what to do. But I can certainly make light of the situation, which sometimes the situation is not so light. Sometimes it's very serious, and that's why I'm here. That's why I offer what I offer. Folks, I have over 800 videos. Yes, you heard that. 800 videos that I filmed. I created, I edited, it's on my YouTube channel, all having to do with correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, free to the public. The next, I think the next seminar I'm going to do is going to be on the live life claim, the claim of the live life, the mechanics of, of how to create that. Um, the most important thing on the claim of the live life is the grammar. It's the grammar. There are no shortcuts. Friends and neighbors, no shortcuts. If you're serious about this stuff, when's a better time to, to start learning it than right now? How important is it to you to be autonomous, to be your own authority, to be a steward of your grammar rather than be controlled by it? How important is it? What, what price tag would you put on that? If it's important to you, again, you can go over to my YouTube channel, over 800 videos. You can study there, start your journey. Or you can contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and apply for a workshop. I've had people learn this grammar in one workshop. But then again, I've had people take 20 workshops and they still don't know it. Normally, if you've done your homework and you stay consistent with it, most people will get a rudimentary grasp on this grammar technology in five or six workshops. And just so everybody knows out there, and this is a different type of psychology than you're probably used to, there are no charges or fees for what I do in the confidential with the workshops. I navigate on a donation gift basis. It's how I keep food on the table and a roof over my head. You know, some people out there say, oh, well, this all should be free. Education should be free, dude. Okay. So that would be kind of like you maybe having a contractor come over to build a house for you. And they build the house and then you say, well, you know, you, you should be... You're building a house for someone. It should be free. I shouldn't have to pay for that. It's called rule one, rule equal. What you put in is what you get out. If you're not, gonna, if you're not willing to invest anything in your learning journey of this grammar, then you're probably not going to get anything out of it. What you put in is what you get out. And of course... There are other tutors out there other than me. Well, other people who claim to be tutors. <clears throat> All right. So if I were you, I would be very careful with who I pick to be a tutor. I would vet them. Ask them hard-hitting questions. I offer 10 to 15 minute video consultation. If you want to learn from me, Hey, I don't know if I want you as a student or not. I have to vet you first. So that's why I scheduled the confidential 10 to 15 minute video consultation. You are a guest aboard my vessel. It's my terms and conditions. You want something from me, therefore I set the terms and conditions. You, if you agree to that, then we will sit down for a video chat. And then we can ask each other whatever we want to. And if I choose to take you on as a student, we'll go from there. I'll create a contract, and uh, you either agree or you don't agree to it, and we go from there. That's how it works. If you choose, you know, someone else as your tutor, I, I would suggest doing the same thing with them, asking them, hey, can we sit down and talk about this for a minute, and ask them hard-hitting questions. Ask them, hey, man, what's an adverb? Hey, why is an adverb 
non-tangible contract, but it can't be tangible contract. But why is an adjective tangible contract, but it can't be non-tangible contract? How can an adverb modify an adjective, but it can't modify a pronoun? Huh? What? You know, ask questions like this and see how they react. If they get pissed off, if they get angry, then you know that they don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> We all sinned and fallen short to the glory of God, and we deserve hell for it. One sin leads to us. Oh, my goodness. That guy's out of here. Don't need any religious propaganda today. Thank you. <laughs> you can take your little bullshit session elsewhere. Anyhow... So that's what I recommend for you out there. We're looking for tutors if you're serious about this. Yeah, why not? See what's available out there. There are a couple places that offer to teach this. But I can tell you this. There is only one entity that I endorse as having closure on this grammar and possessing the capacity to teach it. Only one. And that is a website named Raise Wisdom, a YouTube channel named Raise Wisdom. And that's one of my best students. Uh, his name is Colin Ricardo, Colin Marseille. I do certify and endorse him because I know he knows what he's talking about. I can certify that. Other than that, I don't certify anyone else. I don't support anyone else. I don't affiliate with anyone else simply because... I only certify people that I know have closure on the grammar that, that, that I know that they do because I've tested them or I've taught them. When I see people out here advertising their stuff when there's mistakes all over it or they're trying to sell stuff like putting knowledge behind a paywall, like there are secrets that you need to know, but the only way you can get to know them is if you join Patreon and, and pay this certain member's fee, and now we'll teach you all the secrets. No, that's bullshit. Rule one, rule equal. That's what it's about. That's why everything I teach in the workshops is available for free on my YouTube channel. There are no secrets or tricks. It's all there. What people come to me for is to, you know, for tutorship. I can make your stu journey of studying much quicker, much easier, much more efficient. That's why people come to me. That's the value of what I do. But the knowledge is available for free on YouTube. You can be your own tutor and learn it yourself. Although I will say, I've never known anybody to be able to get closure on this grammar simply from watching videos. Usually they can get about 75 to 80% there. And then the rest of the way, they do need an, a master tutor. They do need someone that knows what the hell they're doing because a big part of it is psychology as well. Oh, wow. 287 total views and one new follower. Well, thank you for that follow, whoever you are. Thank you, Lowly Service, for telling people or reminding people to like the live. I appreciate that. Thank you for the comment, Abdullah. Thank you to the almost, oh, wow, 229 likes. Oh, wow, thank you very much. Cool. Well, this was just kind of a catching up stream. Although I did share some psychological mechanics with you. And again, I can't stress enough. Learn the grammar. JasonMatthewG17 at gmail.com. Go to my bio. You'll find links there to my YouTube channel. You'll find a link to my email address. If you email me, I just ask that you include your full correct name to the best of your knowledge. Like my name is Colin Jason Knife and Matthew Colin Glass. <clears throat> when I send an email, 
I put that autograph at the bottom of the email because I take authority over my words. Because authority always comes at the bottom. If I'm speaking in the fiction using plain English, I will use the adjective, adjective pronoun, Jason Matthew Glass. I won't send someone an email and just put Jason at the bottom because they, it, you need the whole thing. I mean, that's just consideration. You know who I am. You know my full correct name. I just ask the same consideration from you. And if you're afraid to do that, if you're afraid to share your correct name, then that's definitely something that you're going to have to deal with before you start learning this grammar. Because this grammar really commands that you step up onto the geometric level playing field, i.e. you step up onto the carpet. You come forward into the light. You get scrutinized. And you have to be able to hold a position. Because that's what you do when you go into these foreign vessels and dry dock using this stuff. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like and I'll do the same and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, Thank you for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. There are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for here you to study on this channel. My gift to you, my fellow mankind. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.